to Taraba State, where the Pharmacist Council of Nigeria has sealed 344 patent medicine shops over failure to comply with the guidelines and ethics. The council, in a week-long exercise, identified failure to meet pharmaceutical standards as a major cause of drug resistance, toxicity, and even deaths in the country. Correspondent Wolabi Adenusi filed in this report. Data released by the United Nations Office on Drug and Crimes, UNODC, noted that 40.4% of Nigerians abuse drugs. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, which is charged with eliminating the growing processes, manufacturing, selling, exporting, and trafficking of hard drugs in the country, has arrested many patent shop owners for engaging in unwholesome activities. The patent shops are the first point of call for an average Nigerian to obtain prescriptions for minor ailments. And at times, the operators enjoy more patronage than the hospital due to their proximity. But they may take this patronage they enjoy too far at times. The Pharmaceutical Council of Nigeria is saddled with the responsibility of regulating pharmaceutical practices. The council was in Taraba on routine exercise where it visited some shops. The Pharmacies Council of Nigeria enforcement team has been on the field throughout the week, visiting various local government areas of the state. At the end of the exercise, the council sealed 344 patent medicine stores for unwholesome practices and the clamp down continues. Most of the patent medicine vendors are engaged in activities far beyond their scope. And also they stock products outside the approved drug list, including ethical medicines and substances of abuse. At the end of the exercise, a total of 546 premises were visited across the local government. This comprises 481 patent and property medicine vendor shops and 65 pharmacies. 370 and 78 premises were sealed. The ADIS made up of 34 pharmacies and 344 patent medicine shops. The residential areas of Jalingo, the capital of Taraba State, is filtered with patent medicine stores and some of the operators do not possess desired requirements in line with the standard set by the council. Of great concern to the authorities is the protection of such unethical drug stores by citizens who must at times obtain cheaper clinical services from the operator.